Hey friends, thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. My name is Merv. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you decided to join me today. Today's video is going to be a, I guess a demo of me trying on two shades from the Fenty Beauty foundation collection uh, instead of reviewing them independently like I did in my previous video which I will leave a link to down below in case you have not seen that yet today I'm going to be mixing both of the shades and seeing if it's a better fit for me overall so many of you left me helpful comments in the previous video and one of them happened to be trying to mix both of the shades to see if that is a better payoff than one of them individually so that's exactly what I thought I would film for you guys today and you know let you guys see what that's like on my skin tone in case you're close to my skin tone or was just curious about how 440 and 450 would look mixed together so if you would like to see those two shades on me then please keep on watching so I'm starting off with a uh, bare face. I just have on some primer and today the primer I used was Pores No More by Dr. Brandt. It's just this little trial size one. And I also use baby powder in my T-zone because I am combination oily skin type. Here is shade 440. I'm just gonna do a swatch on the back of my arm per usual to remind you guys what the shade looks like against my skin tone. So there is 440 blended into my arm. It dries down a little darker. It does look a little a little off at the moment, but it dries down to something that is more um, that is more complementary and more similar to my skin tone. So we'll just wait for that to dry. Now the funny story with shade 450 is that I did return it. <laughs> I returned it before I got a chance to mix the two products so I just went back to Sephora and got some samples of the shade I will do a swatch of that as well next to 450 so there is 450 right next to 440 uh, definitely dries down a little darker a little more red as we all may know by now but I just wanted to remind you guys of the shades on my skin tone I'm just gonna go ahead and mix 440 with some 450 on the back of my hand or somewhere on my body. To be honest with you guys, I usually mix my colors on my thigh because that's usually exposed when I'm doing my makeup. So I'll just pour some colors down here on my thigh and um, get it on my face. I'm just gonna mix those two together with my brush on my leg because I'm ghetto. I'm gonna get that on my face now. I want some more 450 in that. It still looks a little orange to me, so I'm just gonna take some more 450. That's one side of my face with 440 and 450 mixed together. This is the side that I have it on right now and this is my side with no product. So what do we think? At first it came on a little red. I think I overdid it on 450, but I'm not even sure anymore. Um, compared to my neck, it's definitely, it's definitely a little more red than my neck for sure. Okay. I think I should have should have added a little more 440 to this side. What do you guys think? Because you can clearly see that shade difference from here to here. And we do not want that. Maybe I should add a little more 440. So here is the side with a little more 440 because it was looking a little red to me before. But I just don't want to put any more product because I don't I think it's gonna be a little too cakey if I add any more to this side this was already a little more than I intended to do but for the sake of the video I wanted you guys to really see oh another thing that I said I wanted to do um, that I regret not doing in the other video was matching the shades to my chest just so we can 
see that match a little better because it is important to match your chest area. So here is 440. Definitely looks like a big old bruise on my boob. Let me do 450 on the other side. All right, so here is 450. I know they're both pretty big and obnoxious, but I just wanted you guys to really, um, to really see the colors and not just make like a little pint size, baby size swatch and you guys couldn't tell anything. But here the two shades are. So this is 440 and this is 450. So I will leave those on so that we can see how they dry down throughout the course of this video. So I'm gonna do the other side of my face now. Alright guys, so here is the other side of my face with both 440 and 450. I did do a little more 450 this time around than I did on this side of my face because as we saw it was a little more red on this side than I wanted it to be so I think this time I did like three parts 440 and one part 450 and then I added a little bit of that because I put a little bit too much foundation out. I added a little bit of that to this side of my face. So this is my entire face with 440 and 450 mixed in. What are we thinking? Still looks a little darker than my neck. Um, don't know. I think I, I think I put too much for uh, 450. Right now, just like if I were planning to go out just like this but I haven't highlighted or done concealer or done any of that stuff yet so let's um let's see what the finished result is when I do the rest of my face all right guys that is it for this video thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it let me know your thoughts down below on mixing two shades from this beauty line I found the consistency to be a little I don't know like I feel like mixing the two colors kind of gave it a different texture, a different finish than just using one shade by itself. Let me know if you've had that experience with these foundations or any other foundations and what your thoughts are on mixing two shades to make the perfect shade. I appreciate you so much for watching guys. I will see you in my next one. Bye. One shoulder, no shoulder. Ah. Hey, what's up guys? Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. My name is Merv.